could you please tell us a little bit about yourself and what has inspired you to become a monk? My name is Denzin. I'm a Tibetan Buddhist monk and meditation teacher. Um, my inspiration to become a monk was in Tibet when I was seven years old. At that time, a Buddhist monk came to visit us and he stayed one month with us. And he was 15 years in the China's prison. At that time he was about 35. That monk was the biggest inspiration for me since his personality was extraordinary, uh, peaceful and great compassionate. His heart was full of compassion and kindness. His personality was so powerful like a mountain and he was so peaceful also. Then I was thinking to become a Buddhist monk even though he was so long long time in the prison. He seemed to me the happiest person I have ever met in my whole life. Wow. That's why I was thinking that time I started that whenever I see monks, I become one of them and dedicate my time and my energy for the meditation and for studying the Buddha Dharma. At the Alpinak Stadt, you are teaching Lu Zhong Yoga to the mm -hmm. guests. Could you tell us more about it and how does it differentiate from the other types of yoga? Lu Zhong is a Tibetan ancient yoga. Lu means body, body. Zhong means exercise. Mm -hmm. It is related to the meditation. So that means um, actually those who have found this Lu Zhong meditation or movement, Buddhist movements, there were monks who have meditated in the mountains in Tibet with a very simple food, like zamba, is a roasted belly, and they ate this with tea and stayed years in the mountains, and they were so healthy because they have created this type of yoga. This Lujung Yoga deals for the uh, mental liberation from the negative thinking, negative emotions. So we have 30, um, 23 different types of exercise. Uh, the first five elements, five exercise, purify the basic five elements. This earth, water, fire, wind, and space, mm -hmm. which is related with the emotions. And when we do religion, so the mind get like more relaxed and um, we can get rid of the negative emotion like anger, hatred, jealousy, attachment, desire. So it, it works and since it works directly for the peace of mind, it also helps for the body health of the physical body. Yes. Okay. And you're also having Tibet meditation sessions with the guests. What is special about this meditation technique? Yes, so the Tibetan uh, meditation has about uh, five uh, characteristics. Five characteristics. The five characteristics are like uh, five limbs or five parts. The first one is the right motivation. So one should have first a uh, very peaceful loving heart towards oneself not become to not to be angry with oneself and hate hate oneself mm -hmm. so just to see how beautiful we have to be thankful that we have of this kind of body and this how we can hear and smell and see this beautiful world to be thankful and then cultivate basically uh, loving kindness, a positive attitude to ourselves. This is the basic. Second one is purification, to make this uh, mind free from the stressful thoughts from the everyday working life. We meditate, for example, a mountain and a river. The mind generates with the visualization with a mountain river and mountain lake, we try to purify our energy level 
also use we use mantras which is beautiful sound which generates in us this positive way of thinking like positive energy of compassion and loving kindness this is the second one third one is meditation of our own inner source what i can be i can become i imagine i want to become peaceful and happy person and connect with a master who already did this for example the dalai lama or master tiknathan and we read about these great masters the book about them and we generate these qualities also within us this is the third one the fourth one is when we generate the connection with these great masters we go into our mind state like these masters that means when you sit still and keep the body upright upright and feel the breathing you don't change your thoughts and emotions let them come like the mountain allows the clouds come and go you just observe without judging them without rejecting them mm-hmm. so the mind keeps without changing because every day we try to change something we our monkey mind tries to jump from one side to the other side we never be happy are happy in this present moment that's why the real meditation is just sit and accept this moment and relax into the body where our um, muscles are strained um, unnaturally uh, tight we relax the muscles and when emotion and thought come we don't say these are bad just let them and be aware of them this is the real meditation the fifth part is dedication so we say this meditation peace peace of mind i want to keep till the next meditation session in the next day and then during these two parts i will not be angry i will not be mean and have no bad attitude to me towards me and others so this is the called dedication these five are very important parts of the traditional tibetan meditation thank you yes um one of the highlights of the tibetan week is mantra healing of five mm. elements could you explain to us what exactly this is yes mantras are um very particular sounds which comes from a, a meditative mind of person for example a lady or man who gained this enlightened state so they give certain mantras for person is like this password for the inner secret nature mm-hmm. when we recite these passwords we give a call to the buddhas we are calling the buddhas and means when we call these buddhas we generate awake we awake our inner potential so these mantras uh, purify purify our energy level because the speech is representing our energy mm-hmm. because the breath is our energy according to your sound of your speech we can know what kind of mental state you are mantra is the absolute when you recite mantra the mind comes and it is a pure meditation itself the med- the singing of the mantra it purifies your these three parts of your person that means the cross level gross level of body energy level emotional level mm-hmm. and the mindset is your mind aware of the present moment or is jumping like a monkey around these three levels are getting relaxed and also we believe the mantra have a protection energy to protect your environment with this sound mm-hmm. it will give you a beautiful environment where you feel you can feel protected within your body because these mantras are connected with this power of uh, this enlightened quality mm-hmm. which is in everybody inside the heart wow 
Very interesting. Yeah. Um, we have also prepared a few questions which our guests have shared with us on the social media channels. And the first one was how to get rid of negativity. Could you, explain, mm -hmm. could you give us a tip maybe? First important is to recognize the negativity. Second one is let them come and arise. Third one is um, not judging this negativity. You don't say it's bad, I don't want it. Let them come, not judging. Fourth one is not association. Don't associate this negativity with your me and I. You let them pass like like the clouds or weather. Mm -hmm. You don't say it's my story. I again did this wrong. This is the quality this is the method how to get get rid of these negativities. Negativity only can arise when you have this dualistic attitude. It means when you say I me and the negativity, mm -hmm. two things are like separate and I don't wish this feeling. And you fight against that feeling, it's again the same time you are fighting against you. And if you drink tea, symbolizing like drink tea with this emotion like fear and panic and unhappiness and breathe inside this pain or fear, remain present, don't judge, don't reject. So this fear and uh, negative emotions will become your friend or your protector. That's why this is the traditional way of Tibetan Buddhism. We practice in this way to get rid or to reduce the negative, negative emotions. Mm -hmm. So you distance yourself apart from the emotion and you observe it come and go in a way. Yes, also. like the breath. If you breathe, you breathe in and out. When the okay. emotion comes, they are just energy. These are just energy, like the river. They come and they go. And you just breathe in and feel, go into the body sensation. When you have anger, you feel something in your body. And that emotion is, this sensation is just uh, not good or not bad. So you are not labeling them as bad. And that's why you are not fighting against it. And then you will accept this part of you. And then it will itself disappear into a peace. It will transform into a peaceful state of mind. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Another question was, I'm stating it now, I'm that kind of a person who looks for nirvana. What should I feed my soul to achieve my will? Hmm. Hmm. In the Nirvana Sutra, Buddha was teaching, actually Nirvana means the beyond the suffering, a state of mind or state of our consciousness to be beyond the suffering. And in this Nirvana Sutra, Buddha said, Actually, Nirvana is your nature, your innermost nature of everybody. Everybody has got this peaceful, calm source, resource of immense power. Behind the clouds of lots of storytelling minds, like the monkey minds, it tells uh, lots of story of the past and fearing what in the past happened, it will repeat again. In the future, we hope hope that future will be very good. We don't see the present moment. And when we see the present moment, we come back to back home. We will reach our peaceful mind, peaceful of harmony. And this the soul needs this. Actually the soul needs this nirvana state. Nirvana state is it's, uh, liberated from the habitual way of thinking with lots of hope and fear, hope and fear. When you see it doesn't make sense, 
and it's more better to be fully present and aware of this moment and relax and be enjoying means appreciating the life and each of the beauty of the breath, breathing and hearing and seeing and interaction. So for this Nirvana, he needs two things. First thing is the emptiness we call Shunyata, mm -hmm. to make mind, to see that in your body there is no story. Story only is made by all your mind. Mm -hmm. So make your mind free from those stories of the I. Second one is to fill your heart with a connection with everybody and world and nature, that you are not a separate ego. And feel deep inside you a loving kindness to yourself. Be happy with yourself. And then also sometimes you just feel everybody else also want to be happy and not suffer. And we wish this, whatever you wish for you, you wish the same thing for others, then these two things, emptiness and loving heart, loving kindness, feeling connected, feeling thankful, these two makes the liberation possible and is the best food for the soul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, what is your inspiration when you visit Kshtar? When I come to Kshtar, especially to Hotel Apina, I meet uh, many people, many guests, great people, it's very rich also, materially they are rich, many rich people. At the same time, in the end action with those who take meditation session with me, I have the same feeling that the mind level, this, this on the mental level, they have lots of fear and unhappiness and, and uh, not, not really peace and peace with oneself. There, I can feel that the full happiness in the within the heart is not accomplished. The physical comfort is quite a high standard and a high standard because of the material wealth. So I feel that um, my inspiration, what I feel here is if the people, these people who are having this material comfort, if they dedicate more for the mental training of the right philosophy and the right of psychology and also the right of way of thinking. So I thought this meditation will help many people. And that's why also the Hotel Alpina has invites meditation teachers to bring their guests the best that they can be happy on both level, on the physical level and on the mental level, consciousness mm -hmm. level. Yes. Right. And the last question was, could you give us any tips for meditation? Meditation is important to meditate regularly, if possible every day. For example, 20 minutes. Um, it is very important also to have a, a place to make a meditation place at your place where you stay, at your home. At a beautiful place, put a meditation cushion, put a Buddha statue or some beautiful landscape or mountain picture of like a Zen. Then you sit still and um, observe your mouth first come into the right position, sitting position, and observe the breath and be very present. And when thoughts and emotions come, don't change and accept and harmonize them. This, is, this meditation should be done about 20 minutes and not longer. If you feel like you want to meditate longer, but you should not because it should have continuous vision short meditation, but regular meditation. Mm -hmm. That's important uh, to have a right place to meditate and the right time. And also choose a particular time. Best is before breakfast, drink some more tea or water or liquid, tea or water, 
and then do some body exercise like the Lujung. Then sit down, do some breathing yoga, then sit still and be quiet and dedicate. If you regularly do this exercise, that means you need a timing. It means when do I do meditation in the morning, for example, 7 o'clock, then you do every day at this same time. No more than 20 minutes and have a right, make a meditation corner for your, at your home. That's the suggestion. And then always dedication is important. You say, this morning I meditate like this and I will keep this piece of mind which is not getting anger, angry till the next session, the next day. Mm -hmm. So if you do like this, your, your spirituality and practice will become powerful. That's my suggestion okay. for meditation. That's very helpful. Thank you very much yes. for your time. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you.